Um, hi Paul, uh, thanks very much for doing this. Um, so we had the fans forum um, uh, pre-season and uh, I took a lot of questions forward from the fans which you and Toasty and the chairman answered and as part of that there was um, we obviously promised that we'd have another opportunity um, to speak about um, the director of football role and 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 uh, everything else that's going on at the club just to give the fans a little bit more insight. Sure. Um, so again thanks for doing this. Uh, Firstly, let's start with a, a bit about you personally. What, uh, what's your background, your qualifications, and what have you done in football up to now? All right, sure. Uh, first of all, it's good to, to see you and chat. And like we said the other day, and think it went dark, didn't it? Until, <laughs> until we finished the conversation, I think communication is probably the most important thing we can have. Uh, so a bit about me, I was lucky enough to play for my, my hometown club as a kid growing up, uh, before academies, it was Centre of Excellence since then. Um, so I was at United, and I think from that, I think that's pretty much shaped my coaching career, to mm -hmm. be honest with you, in terms of like the values that you get instilled in you there, in a place like that, under if you think about all the like the coaches and players that mm -hmm. was there at the time, you, your standards had to hit top top mark all the time, and, and like I said, the values they instill in you, um, like work hard, you know, never give up, that, that's like a given sort of thing. So I was lucky enough to be there, um, and then going into the coaching, it was a guy called Dave Bushell, who was actually my coach for the under 16s there, who said, listen. You know, going 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 to coaching type thing. Um, watch him, watch him do this, do that, do the other. Get on your coaching badges. So I was quite lucky to take his advice, but I was only a young kid at the mm. time, like 17, just come back from broken leg, and he's like, "Listen, you need to go get a job. Like, join the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Like, get some life experience in you. You still I can still play football, right? Yeah. And what well, you know what it's like, don't you? Football yeah. in the forces, and that's what he was. And then he was uh, he stayed in touch. Mm -hmm. which was really good of him and then he was very much like hey there's a there's a job coming here if you if you fancy it i'm on the panel oh, <laughs> so it's like like you know who you know and it sort of thing i suppose and that's that's how it that's how it that's how that came about and then uh that all went part-time and annie my, my wife we, we moved down to peterborough hence hence where we are now and it's uh we fell pregnant with with raf and she's like right i'm having a year off need a full-time job mm -hmm. And then the role of head of football came up at the uni, which was then uh, put in as well with the FA coach education, which, which I love doing. Mm -hmm. They still let me do United stuff, yeah. uh, which was great, ad hoc. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a little bit about me, really. Oh, good. So you've always been a football man, haven't you? And, and local football's obviously been, you know, from your hometown club and everything, local football's obviously been a big part of what you were about football-wise as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's, I think it's important. Um, you know, to be able to, to be able to sort of like bring, like like the community into into your game really, yeah. and that and that's like I said the, the values that we've got put in. Um, so that's where Durham Town want to be, isn't it? Massive, yeah. massively so, and and you know it's one of the things that when, when Ash first got in contact, I mean I had a relationship with Ash anyway because because mm -hmm. of the UEA been here for what three years now, mm -hmm. got a good relationship not just Ash but the board as a whole, so you know we we had good conversations just about football yeah. in general really, and yeah. and I've been down to watch watch a few games and. Good fan base yeah, and yeah. everything like that. So, so yeah, that's important, and I think it's important for a club to reflect your community. Well, that was um, going to be the next thing I was going to ask you was how you heard about the director of football role, but it was through Ash and yeah. So, how, so how it came about? It was I, I got a message, uh, just a WhatsApp message from yeah. Ash. Hello, yeah. mate. Do you fancy catching up for a beer? Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest with you, I just thought it was about coming into this season. You know, UEA are still playing here. Are we still happy with the contracts and everything like that. Yeah. Um, so I came down. We, we met him just outside, just outside, yeah. outside the pitch there, and it was it was very much, what's your plans for next season? Mm. I've got this idea. What do you think? And then it was very much like completely out of the blue. I, you know, it wasn't what I was expecting. And it's like, well, you know, as long as there's no conflict anywhere, mm -hmm. let, let, let's have a meeting about it. So we did. We came in this very room actually. Mm -hmm. um, so it was myself, Lee, uh, Gus, and mm -hmm. and Ash, and it was all sort of like, how do you feel about the direct football role? These are what your responsibilities are. How do you feel about it? And it's like, well, how does the manager feel? Yeah. Happy, happy, he's happy, he's happy. Brilliant, let's do it. So like I say, less than four. So it felt had... like the club was moving in a more professional direction at the time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And like I say, the, the, you know, step four football, mm -hmm. for me, perhaps one of the biggest like non-league semi-pro sides in, in, yeah. in Norfolk, if not if not the East, really. Yeah. And I think and I think that was exciting for me. Um and then, yeah, there's things that Ash said 
uh, was 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 it, it aligned with me really well, um, especially with the background at the university and, yeah. and the infrastructure that we put in there. You know, You're familiar with the ground as well. Absolutely, yeah. uh, absolutely the whole thing, and you know we've had a few Deerham fans watch our home yeah, games, yeah. and I came to watch one of your games once. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, and you know I think it's I say I think it's important that that we that we, that we get that through. So, so that's yeah, good. so that, that's how it all, that's how it all happened, and it's been a whirlwind since really, but it's been yeah, brilliant. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. I'm still unbeaten while we're sitting here. <laughs> we're still we're still unbeaten, absolutely, <laughs> and. Uh, like I say, I saw Toasty was on his phone at four o'clock this morning, so he's, def he's definitely planned. Um, but yeah, quite excited for today, and yeah. you know, let's get 100% behind, behind him and the boys. Uh, so you touched on it there a minute ago. Um, uh, a lot of the, the, the social media and a lot of the uh, reaction to the restructuring of the club, uh, there wasn't a great deal of communication that came out from the club at the time, hence why we're having discussions like this. Um, uh, one of the questions that was asked was, um, what the previous management team's involvement is and whether they were in, involved in the appointment of director of football, but you said that Gus was in the room at the time. He's in this very room, yeah. in this very room, eh? and you know, he was brilliant with me. Yeah. He, he, and Lee, he, he, you know, he said, it's got to be right for, for all parties, you yeah. know, so if I, if I want to go and watch training, go and watch training. If mm -hmm. I want to go and, I don't know, make the team, make the tea, you know, he, he was he was open for it all. Um, yeah, uh, you know, he, we're there to help, exactly, yeah. sort of thing, you know. Um, that's where it went. So looking forward then, so what do you see, uh, have, have you got like a short term, medium term, long term target if you want to? Absolutely. Short term is for us to create a club which these fans are, are proud to come and watch, mm -hmm. proud to support, proud to shout about. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that is first and foremost really important. Mm -hmm. But then it's how do we do that? So for me, it's getting a competitive side which will compete. Obviously we play to win. But the reality is, are you going to win every single game? No, you, you're not. It's sport. Yeah. But there's ways you can get beat. So those mm -hmm. values I was talking about early, mm -hmm. you know, they've got to be a given. You've got to run. You've mm -hmm. got to work hard. You've got to work together. You can never, never give up. And to be fair, I think we've played three games now, right? Yep. We've gone one nil down, two nil down. Yep. And we've come back to win one and draw two. Yeah. And for me, that shows those those values have started to to spread throughout the dressing yeah. room. Two of those are away as well. To hard games, yeah. hard yeah. games, and and I think if you can get that, you can get that work ethic, that mentality, that mm. robustness in your team or in your dressing room. It's to, it, it spreads, it spreads mm. like, like like a toxic thing, isn't it? It's, it's brilliant, it's yeah. fantastic, and I think to be fair to Torsty, is it's reflective. I think coaching is reflective, and the guy's definitely passionate. You've got to give him that, and he's enthusiastic, and yeah. he's he's knowledgeable. Yes, yeah. You know, and that's everything that you need, and the lads have. What well, performances tell you, um, I bought into him, and I think that is superb. So, Not as well until he has to set up a sprinkler, as we saw earlier. Yeah, I don't want to go, I don't want to go into that. I was involved in that. I certainly don't want to, I certainly, I got sucked. I certainly don't want to, don't want to go into that. Like, but he's, yeah. he's, he's, um, he's very, very good uh, at what he does, and, and I think that's, that's really important. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, getting, getting that right, first of all, and then I think it's like going into the medium time, then it's getting, I think, I think not not just the people on the bus, but getting them in the right seats. Yeah. If that if that makes sense, and and uh, giving us the best opportunity to perform on across the board, both on and off the pitch, yeah. I think it's massive. So I'll give an example of it, um, Chris Greenslade. Mm -hmm. You know, first and foremost, top lad. Yep. Good lad, good communicator, good all round bloke. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, class on the pitch. He gives you hundred percent. Again, hitting those values, but off it, you know. The first aid room, for example, mm -hmm. he's come out, he said, right, we can do this, 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 and this, and this, you know, so it's, so it's tapping into that knowledge mm -hmm. and giving him the opportunity and him giving back. And, and I think that, that is brilliant. And if we can set that out across, across different aspects, that then it's like a multidisciplinary approach that then will give the players the best performance, best opportunity for performance. Yeah. So that's really important. And then I think long-term, do we want to be a step three club? No, we want to be a step two. Yeah. We want to be a step two club. You know, and I, and I think we've got to aim like that Acro mm -hmm. across the board. Yeah. You know, not not just on here, but off it. And I think it's a vicious circle. You know, and doing stuff like this, I think, is massively important because ultimately we're only good as you bunch. You know. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I think that's can't be underestimated. That. So. I think there are a lot of fans. I'd love to hear that we want to be a step two club as well. You oh, know. I mean, we we, we 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 feel like we've got a, a, an infrastructure and a, a a good foundation here. You know, when fans talk amongst themselves and some of the private messages I get from fans and now they, yeah. they talk about uh, 
moving forward. We've had slow progression up till now, but progression nonetheless. Yep. You know, so we want we want to um, we, you know the fans want, want to hear that sort of thing. So while we're on that, then so um, the next couple of questions we could sort of tie together. So uh, we were going to talk about um, the individual strengths that you and Lee specifically individually have that you how you work together and the clarity of the role and how Toasty fits into that. Okay, so first and foremost, Toasty is here to perform out there. Yeah. Or get his 11 troops plus his subs to perform mm -hmm. out there. That, that is his. How me and Lee support that is all, is everything else around it. Mm -hmm. Me and Lee are giving the best version of himself to go and do that. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, when we do um, uh, squad planning, uh, yeah. uh, well, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, whatever it was, squad planning, it's right, we'll go through we'll go through the players. What does what does a left back look like mm -hmm. in, in your dear room time setup? Yeah. What does a midfielder look like? What happens, the what ifs to that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so so that, that that's Toasty's plan. This is his profile of player he wants. We'll say to Toasty, you concentrate on your training, we'll go and find here's your left back, here's your centre midfielder, yeah. here's your centre forward, here's this, here's that. Do you like him? Yes, no, yes, great, let's get him in. Does he fit the dressing room first mm -hmm. and foremost? What's his personality like? Yeah. What is he like if he loses the ball? Because sooner or later he's going to lose the ball. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that's what differentiates between ability of player or yeah. standard of player. Yeah. If they can recover quicker from making a mistake, the better they're going to become. Yeah. And, and, and I think that's massively important. So does he fit all that criteria? Does he fit in? Does he, is he a good learner? Yeah. He needs to be a good learner because Tosh is a good teacher because he's mm -hmm. a good coach. Yeah. Then it is. What's he like in the group? Then ultimately, what's he like on the pitch? So, um, what what differences do you and Lee have then? Is, is, is one of you more technical? And it's one like of my you wife. A, it's like my wife. Yeah. No, one of you's more of a man manager, and one of you's more of a technical. Yeah, I, I, I think we're both. Well, I think we're looking in in, in the aspect of all three of us are full time in football. Yeah. Which, which I think which I think's good for the club. Yeah. Um, I think that that like I said, Tosh is good at the the pitch side of it. I think what Lee's really good at. Um, communicating with um, exterior agencies, if you like. Uh, I think he's really good with that. I think he's really good at, at selling the club. I, mm -hmm. th I, think that's, I think that's really good of him. Um, his knowledge about football is superb. Yeah. He's really, really good. So we all know, a lot of us will know his face from around the club, from the under-18s and the Deezer and stuff uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, ab yeah. Ab ab absolutely. And, and I think this place here is your longevity of the club. Yeah. I'm not saying we're playing 11 players from here, mm. but I'm saying you're going to get the odd one that's come mm. through, like your Ashton Fox yeah. and the two previous before him. Yeah. You know, that's a massive selling point for us as a club and for a community. I think what better to shout about than one yeah. of your own going off to, to, yeah. to, be, to becoming that. So his relationships he's got with those pro clubs mm -hmm. is, is brilliant. And, well, we've got Aaron here now, haven't we? Yeah. You know, so that relationship is, is massively important. And I think it's a good one then to... For, for, for lads who are playing out here, knowing that scouts are coming to watch, you're yeah. going you're gonna to perform, aren't you? Yeah. If sure. they're going to perform, it's going to suit us better, isn't it? Yeah. So, Everyone wants to progress, don't they? The players included. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course they do. And, and you want that. And I think the key is you get them to a stage where they're good enough to play step two football mm -hmm. and they get offers in. But the reality of that is the environment that we've created here, yeah, yeah that's tempting and that's great. But actually, yeah. it ain't going to be like what... What, yeah. what I've got here, so grass here always greener, so that, that's a trick for it. So a lot of the players that we've got at the moment, so obviously, you know, what happened happened in pre-season and we had to put a squad together uh, in, in relatively short time and still, totally, like you said, has only played three competitive games and only had um, a handful of, well, a, a few uh, pre-season games as well. So at the moment, we obviously, we don't know who our best 11 is. We're still getting, even as fans, we're still getting to know them. Uh, the Durham fans are obviously used to a, a certain style of play historically where we're quick and pacey and we like to get forward and attack and mm -hmm. we, we have talisman that we get behind and all that. And I think there's a little bit of that in this new squad as well, isn't there? There's, 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 there's big characters. They're very approachable off the pitch. They engage well with the fans. We've seen that in all the games we've had so far. Is that a big thing that you encourage uh, from, you know, as part of this professional setup that you want uh, the engagement to come both ways? So obviously fans will, will attempt to engage, but mm -hmm. is there something you want coming the other way as well? 100%. And yeah. again, it goes back to the, what's the personality of the player we're bringing in. Yeah. You know, I think that's massively important. Yeah. Um, I think last home game, we sat up there with Henry. Yeah. Um, who Thomas. Was there. Tom Ashley was yeah. there as well. So what, half eight, caught my stay yeah, or, something, yeah. or something like that. You know, and then they've got to drive to London. Yeah. You know, so these, these lads are, like I say, first and foremost, good people. Um, and I think they enjoy. Yeah. They enjoy chatting to you about, yeah, yeah. about the game and stuff yeah. like that, you know. Um, and I saw 
you and Emery speaking at the bar beforehand. Yeah. You know, so I think usually important um, and they buy into it. Yeah. So that, that, that is massive. Like I said, I think they enjoy it. So talent wise on the pitch, I mean, we've, they've, obviously teams need a little bit of time to get together as a group and, and gel and, and all these sort of things and settle and all that sort of thing. But just speaking about talent wise, yep. there's, there's a serious amount of talent on the pitch as well. We saw it at the open training session. For those who could go, was a there was a lot of talent on the pitch. We got a lot of players who haven't had their chance to get in yet and all that. Yep. So you mentioned that we got Aaron from Peterborough, who was a, a good connection that Lee had. Yep. Uh, we, we, we have also got a lot of players who have uh, past UEA experience, who, who would yep. have been contacts of yours and all that, you know, from, from historically. Yep. Uh, so have you got any who you would pick out or have you got a broader um, sort of message about the, how talented this group is? I think, I think we are... And I realise we're only three games in. Yeah. Um, but seven of the lads that I know yeah. personally for four years now. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we try to do is, is create like a winning mentality. Yeah. That doesn't mean winning 4 0, 5 0 every day. It goes back to those values again. Mm -hmm. And they've been battered with those values every single day. Yeah. And they have, because it'd be me who's doing it. Yeah. In order, for, in order for them to be successful. And not necessarily successful, like I say, to win games, but make sure you do your degree. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get, get it in on time. Yeah. You know, so it's transferable standards. Yeah, similar mentality to, to these lads, isn't it? The Toasty had a similar yeah, mentality because if they didn't get their coursework done on time, they didn't play the next. There you exactly, go. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, 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 there you go. But it's transferable, isn't it? You're mm. late for work, you're gonna get sacked, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Like, like you yeah. know, so it's, it's transferable things like that. And what I what I found at the university was they wanted to win. Yeah. They wanted to win, and again, I go back to to what I was saying before. The values. I'll harp on about it. But we had a performance versus trust mm -hmm. graph um, that we used as a basis of this is what we're all about, and that's how we beat teams. That's how we yeah. beat Kings Lynn. Yeah. We put eight past Kings Lynn. Yeah. You know that that's 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 how we beat them. And I think once you've got that, your performance and trust is then, like I said, created to your environment mm -hmm. and and how you treat people after making a mistake. For example, mm. you know you absolutely go mental, or or do you encourage? Yeah. And you know you've got to encourage. Well, that's just the same in society, isn't it? In, in industry and all the all the yeah. other places you work, yeah, it's all about investing in people. So football can't be any different, can it? It's not. It's yeah. not. It's no different. It's not rocket science. Yeah. You know, I treat you well. Mm. We're going to chat again, aren't we? Yeah. Like, exactly. like, 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 yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, bump into you at street and mm -hmm. we'll chat, won't we? You yeah. know, it's that, it's that sort of thing. You've got to build relationships. You know, it's all, it's all about your people skills, your man management of 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 of. of what you're, what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, from a fan's perspective, we're used to that. We, you know, under the previous management, we had a, a really good relationship with them, and mm. and they 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 engage with us as well. And it's real. I think it, this fan base is what it's used to. It's what it, is, it, it doesn't want to be separate from the from the football club. Mm. And and uh, you know, we, we went through a period of uh, like a communication blackout, but that's ended now, and yep. which is why we're here, and and, and we'll do this again, yep. and and, and uh, we'll. We'll speak to other people as well within the management chain. You're always welcome, of course, but we'll, we'll speak to other people again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but what we, what we did want to try and disconnect with you specifically was uh, sort of there's been some trouble at UEA, well, not trouble, but they, they, they've decided to take a step down, haven't they? Yeah. So uh, there'll be a natural um, link uh, with you and a lot of the players coming from UEA. Pe people will naturally put the connection and their demotion together and think, oh, you know, Dearham have caused this, but there, there, there isn't, that, that isn't the case, is it? We've spoken about this and that isn't absolutely, the case. So, absolutely nothing uh, to do with Dearham. Even, even though we're here to talk about Dearham Town, uh, could you just give the fans, just so they can disconnect the two subjects, a, a, a bit of insight into what's happened at UEA? Yeah, sure. First of all, nothing to do with Dearham mm -hmm. whatsoever. They're still playing their games here, aren't they? Yeah, well? yeah. Still, still playing. I think we're here next week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely nothing to do with Dearham whatsoever. It was, it was a, it was a COVID-related decision mm -hmm. um, where we couldn't really go out and recruit mm -hmm. because there was no one to recruit from because no one, yeah. no one was doing anything, were they? Um, and it was put in the best interest of the players, first and foremost, mm -hmm. um, where because of graduation and, 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 and the time spans of the universities, three yeah. years or four years, depending, um, what we didn't want to do was, was essentially throw people to the lines, yeah. to be totally honest with you. Yeah. Um, so the lads that are here graduated, all gone two mm -hmm. or three years now. Yeah. You know, so they're all 23, 24. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so it wasn't a case of just uprooting the best players and moving them. That, that wasn't the case at all. We said before, players do want to progress. And if yeah. they had stayed where they were, it would, it would have been steps five or six for UAA would have played. It would have been step six. So, yeah, so you can't blame players for wanting to come here, a ground they're used to, but playing a higher level of football. Yeah, yeah. Players absolutely. do want yeah. to progress, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, and, and to refer to the lads here, they graduated before. Well, well, prior some yeah. lock, prior to lockdown, you mm-hmm. know, so it wasn't it wasn't these guys anyway. It, it was it was the guys who just finished. Yeah. Um, equally, you know, they've gone on to play Debenham. They've gone on to play Thetford. They've gone mm-hmm. on to play at different places. So, from a UA point of view, it's a great pathway to show yeah. we've got development here, and they can go and play step five, step six, or seven of them here at step four. Because through the universities, a lot of talent come through. Yeah. And when you think they're open and exposed to a full multidisciplinary programme yeah. where we're getting them ready essentially mm-hmm. if you like for men's football as well yeah, yeah. for the physicality of it especially in this oh, new league yeah. huge yeah. huge you know, we've got a really really good S&C coach in James yeah. phenomenal what yeah. he does the knowledge of the guy what he does is is unbelievable really getting mm-hmm. lads to a physical state where they can compete so don't yeah. forget they're playing Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday Saturday you know so yeah. that's a bit of an ask yeah, yeah. And, all, and, and and James is superb as, as, as all the stuff are there yeah and, the, and some of our players obviously have uh, travel commitments that we didn't that some of our previous squad last year didn't have as well so th- these players must be uh, heavily invested in into uh, what uh, they're buying the products that you Lee and Toasty are selling basically aren't they they bought into it yeah. 100% uh, like I said they've been exposed to it which, mm-hmm. which, which helps um you know, we're, we're asking lads to travel from Leicester. We're asking lads to travel from London. London yeah. You know, we're asking them to come on a Tuesday night for training, a Wednesday night for training, Saturday for a game. You know, it's, and I know we have games Tuesdays, mm-hmm. but if we're not, we're training. Um, it's a big ask. Yeah. And the commitment that they're showing to come and pull on black and white top is yeah. it's phenomenal. You, you, you can't knock it. It's it yeah. it, it's mad, really. But again, I think it goes back to how, how Toasty has got his dressing room. Mm-hmm. How... how Excited the art to come in there because mm-hmm. it, it's, it's it's effervescent, it's, it's, it's bubbling, you know, it, yeah. it's, it's brilliant. So I'm not too sure you get that every single club. Well, the fans are certainly happy with the performances we've had so far. Hopefully, we get a good result. <laughs> Touch wood. Today, <laughs> Touch yeah. wood. Yeah. yeah, but, but we, we've seen the differences in the league. We've seen it slightly less technical, slightly more physical. Right. Um, you know, in, in the in the new league, which is what we sort of expected anyway. Um, Toast has got a lot of good connections and a lot of access to. Uh, uh, footage and, and that so we're not going in into it blind mm-hmm. which is something we wanted to assure fans that we're not going into this completely oh. blind uh, we, we've you know the squad's been built in a in, in a way which we can compete as well and we, yep. we've got enough got enough tools in the toolbox to be able to match teams as well so because they will play different ways won't yeah, they? Yeah. We, you'll see we've got Stanford coming here on Tuesday who historically play a much more technical it. Isthmian yeah. type uh, grade of football mm-hmm. and, and then we went on, uh, to Shepshed who play a much more, um, you know, industrial, agriculture, physical game of football, don't yeah. they? Which we saw and we coped with really well. Yeah, yeah absolutely, so. absolutely. And I, I think you've got to be open to every eventuality, and you have to be able to deal with the what ifs. Mm-hmm. And what I can tell you is that your man in the dog out there, he's thorough. Yeah, he's really, really thorough. I, spe- I, I generally speak to him more than my wife. You know, mm-hmm. he, he, yeah, I do. He is on the ball with it all. In you know, what is nice about him is that he's open for. Oh, have you thought about this? Or oh, what if this happens? Mm-hmm. Have you got an idea with this? And you know, he, he changes it at half time. Bold move. Yeah. But you know what? Fortune favours brave, doesn't it? And yeah. And I think it shows then the lads buying into what he's trying to do or what he was trying to do at half time. Yeah. Especially while he's still looking for his best eleven and his his, his best huge. his best method at the moment. Isn't huge, it? huge, yeah. And I, and I think what that does that bridge competition. Yeah, it does. You know, everyone wants and, and to we, And we've seen that out there. And like I say, the fans are used to a certain style of football and. Um, and we, um, entertaining rather than attacking I should have said we, we're used to entertaining games and, and we've certainly so. been entertained so far yeah, well, which is brilliant isn't it yeah. which is brilliant and we, you know we, 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 we say to Toast quite a lot you know these, these, these people coming in you know, they're working all week mm-hmm. you know I know we've got good competitive prices coming through Gate or City yeah. or whatever yeah but they're still working all week they're spending their hard earned money in a time when everything's rising yeah isn't it everything's going up You've got an ob- obligation to these lads, yeah. girls coming watching, to perform. Yeah. You know, you don't have to win three 0 Perform. Yeah. Work hard. You've got a great product together. people want to buy. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And and you know and we're really trying with that. Well, we're seeing it so far, and <laughs> and uh, like I said at the beginning, we we spoke at the fans forum, and we'll make this 
Uh, we said we'd do it um, quarterly, but I'm quite happy to sit and take questions from social media and bring them to yeah, certain uh, members of the committee and the, and the, the management team and uh, to make it as, as regular as people want to. Well, I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed the overnight when, yeah. when we were out here with, yeah. with, with Jason and, and yeah, Paul, wasn't it? Yeah, there's yeah, a few yeah. fans out there, yeah. After the games, come and, come and get hold of me. Yeah. Come and chat and ask me whatever, and I'll answer you as best, as best I can. Well, we've done well so far. First no in. worries, mate. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, Thanks, mate. Check out. Cheers.